for everybody but when you get to the site uh, your feelings start to come out it's a spiritual healing ground so you think about people that you want to pray for the people that it impacted the people that can't be here with you and you're thinking about all the people that were massacred there and it means a lot to the northern Cheyenne uh, Northern Rappos and Cheyenne Rappos because Silas Soul didn't do what he did, we wouldn't be existing right now. Here in April at a Methodist conference, I don't know, it was a global conference, or, and I asked them, why did it take over 150 years to allow a Cheyenne leader to address your church leadership on this terrible thing that you looked the other way on? And one of the things that some of the old men that used to visit with me told me, Remind them that if they came across the big water, there's still intruders in our minds. If they, they came here and became merchants, railroad men, farmers, ranchers, people that have taken root here, and we've had to make room for them. That's what I mentioned that morning. And I, and I had some people come up to me and tell me, how can you say that? That's radical. I told them, it was my elders that told me that perspective. My elders must be radical. I could only hear breathing after I got done talking. And there was a law about 10, 15 seconds the facilitator picked up. He said, let's have a moment of silence. So I felt very honored to have represented and presented to the Methodist church leaders to be part of moving toward reconciliation. 